um, I'm going to be doing a, another rainbow piece, but instead of the swirl like I did last time, what I want to do for this time is um, do rainbow colors, kind of starting from the center. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to have them touch in the center and then the rainbow uh, colors to go out to the corners. So, um, yeah, I didn't want to do a whole collection of just spirals. I like to do different shapes and stuff. So let's go ahead and get started and see how it turns out. All right, so now we've got our base of white down, and what I'm gonna do, let me scoop something up real quick. Okay, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a small line of white, kind of starting from the center, going to each corner, excuse me, and then I'm going to um, line up the rainbow colors, So I was originally thinking I would start with red um, and then make it all the way out to purple. But what if instead I did like starting with red to purple this corner, but then opposite this corner Um, hmm. Well, I've got a couple more canvases in this size. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with just the red like I was thinking at first and leave enough room that I can make sure that to see the purple on here. And then what I'll do for the next piece is I will try out the idea of the opposite colors I would hmm I don't think that they could be completely opposite because then you'd have both like the purples on one side and I'd want it to be like red purple red purple 
So maybe like red, red, and then purple, purple. Okay, well that's for next time anyway. So um, let me go ahead and do this initial idea. So, oh right, I need to do my first layer of white. Sometimes I'm like so rearing to go that I, <laughs> I don't even uh, follow the process that I would normally do. I just get so excited. Okay, so this is about center. So I didn't go like completely to the corners because I should have enough paint where I'll be able to blow out the colors um, and I won't need extra there. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my hair dryer and then starting from the center, blow out for each line. So here we go. Oh yeah, it's right here. Mm -hmm. that I kind of messed that one up, but whatever. Okay, um, so it looks good. I'm glad that I can see all of the colors. I didn't lose the purple too much at the end. So what I'm going to do is fluff out these lines.
so I'm really enjoying the blending of like the orange, yellow, and green and blue in these areas. All up in here. Um, I'm going to fix the center in just a second. Mm. I wish instead of a straight line, I had done more of a zigzag or curves. I like the, the way that the curves look more than just kind of the straight line. So, but anyways, um, yeah, let me go ahead and fix the center and kind of run my finger down the center of each line. So here are the end results. My camera did die um, while I was recording, so we'll see how this turned out. I'm not sure um, how in love with this one I am. Uh, I would definitely like the colors. Um, and I like the blending that happened with them. And I don't know. I'm not really sure about the full end results. So... All right, so I'm going to let this piece dry, and then once it's dried, I will show you the results. So see you in a bit. Alrighty, so here are the dry results. I'm not crazy about the center. <laughs> I was watching the playback of this when I did that little swirly thing there, and I was like, oh, why did I do that? I do love how these lines turned out. They look amazing. And I love how the red kind of gets pulled down through the center of them too. Yeah, I love the lines. Um, not crazy about the center. I'm, I don't know. Should I keep this one? Or should I paint over it? We can try it again with something else. Let me know down below, because um, I haven't varnished this one yet. And I might hold off until I hear back from some of y'all about whether I should keep it or not. So, all right. So that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you thought about this one. Um, yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, please consider subscribing if you enjoyed the video. 
and I'll see you in the next one.